At first there was the Pony Express, then there came telephone, then there came fax, then there came email. Drastic differences in the way businesses interacted with consumers, even B2B. Today's there's text. Are you texting from your dealership today? If not, you are definitely missing the boat. Because the manner in which consumers want to communicate today is text, far over phone and far over email. 22% of emails are read, 98% of texts are read. So we've got to challenge you. Are you spending your time dollar for dollars or emailing away when there is that texting option? So there's two ways to text. You can text out from your CRM, which we call cold texting. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, but why cold text or cold call when you can have incoming leads? So what we're showing our dealers is setting up a strategy on both your website, on your desktop site, on your mobile site for consumers to text you uh, around pricing, around availability. So you're simply responding back to those consumers. A lot of dealers ask me, how do you do it right? What's the right way? Because there's all these compliance issues and uh, these lawsuits everybody hears about. Uh, the four letters, TCPA, Telephone Consumer Protection Act. Uh, what I typically do is tell dealers an example of uh, people that do it right, specifically the airlines. You've got multi-billion dollar companies. So for all of those of us who have traveled over the past year, two years, even three years, when we go to that kiosk and we check in for our flight, it asks us information, it asks us if we'd like to change our seat, all that fun stuff. The very last question they typically ask is, Scott, if your flight is delayed, canceled, or if there's a gate change, how would you like us to communicate with you? Phone, email, or text? If you're anything like me, you chose that text option. So what happens? We put our phone number in there, we hit OK. The very next thing that happens, our phone vibrates or rings. We take it out, there's our opt-in message. So we go ahead and respond back with a Y or a yes. Now we are opted in. The airline has express written consent to communicate with us via text. And that is the story that we share. If that's taking place in your dealership today, the consumer is opted in and there's a system in place which pushes all the information to the CRM and there's a system in place should that consumer ever opt out with a text that says stop, quit, cancel, that we cease communication immediately and have no way to text that consumer again because that's where the trouble starts. So tell me what's working for you. Tell me what challenges you have around texting your dealership. Tell me some of the wins. Go ahead and comment below. I look forward to reading your comments.